so let us uh, do one more question on your magnetic moment now this is again your ncrt question let us see how to solve this question so these are the different variations of using the magnetic momentum formula the spin only formula so n uh, root n into n plus 2 under root we have used it in calculating the bohr magneton then i've used that thing uh, in calculating uh, the ions that give ions were given from that again i calculate a bohr magneton now they've given me bohr magneton directly and they've asked me to find out or infer what let us see what can be inferred from the magnetic moment values of the following complex series okay nice they have club coordination chemistry chapter and your uh, dna block elements here let's see how to do this suppose if this question is given to us <coughs> they've asked me from this bohr magneton value of this complex what do you infer what can you uh, what information can you get or gather from this let's see now let us pick up first example example one now example one is k4 <coughs> mn cn6 and the bohr magneton given to me is 2.2 okay not a problem i'm not you no, for me uh, let, let's see how can i use that now when such particular example is given to me now this is your metal atom this is your ligand and this is also this one which is outside the sphere now this metal atom <laughs> the, the six ligands are going to donate electrons to this metal atom done as soon as such complex is given to you first try to calculate the oxidation state <clears throat> manganese is x plus six into minus one yes <clears throat> Now, your uh, K is also there. You have to write that uh, uh, this one also. Okay, X4. Okay, done. Solve this. Is equal to 4. X is equal to. X is equal to plus 2. Done. Now, this is your oxidation state for manganese. Now, when I when I'm going to write this manganese uh, with the configuration which I got is D uh, two two electrons uh, plus two means Mn plus two. Pick up the configuration of manganese. It is three D five four S two. You're going to take out two electrons from here. This becomes zero. Now, what do you have? You have D five configuration. One two three four five. Now come back to the complex. This manganese has to form a bond with ligand. Now what type of ligand is this? This ligand Cn minus is a weak is a strong field ligand. What is a strong field ligand? Strong field ligand when it has to bond with the metal atom, it's going to pair up the electrons because it is strong field. You have strong field ligands, weak field ligands and neutral ligands like ammonia and water. <coughs> so it is a strong field ligand and it is going to pair up the electrons. How does it pair? This will pair up with this, this will uh, shift here, this will pair up again and left over. Let me see how can I pair up. So it is a strong field ligand and will pair up. How does this pair up? Mn plus 2. So, this club together paid. Okay, two are gone. This club together paid. And we are left with one single. So, what is this now? D. Now, once this is left out with the empty orbitals, your CN is going to come and occupy. How many do we need? We need six CNs to come and form a bond. How many are there? Two. So, this is your 3D. Next comes your 4S. Next comes your 4P. So, cyano will come and occupy here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So, now what is this hybridization? This is D, I have already written. So, this is D2SP3 hybridization. Okay, so now what are we inferring? We with this data given, we are calculating or we are trying to find the type of hybridization. Now, how many are there? 3 plus 1, 4, 5, 6 total. So, 6 means what is the geometry of the complex? It is an octahedral complex. Manganese with 6 cyanone on the sides. So, this data is helping me to find out the shape of the molecule. 
for the shape of the complex so tetrahedral one so what do we get for uh, yeah, this complex i have got a configuration of d2 sp3 and i told it is it has an octahedral geometry let us come back and do the next one fe water 6 plus 2 first calculate the oxidation state x now here 6 into now what is the row, what is uh, the mode or, or the type of water molecule ligand water is a neutral ligand as i said ammonia and water are neutral ligands so the charge on water is zero so write that here plus 2 so x so <coughs> this is zero the left is going to plus 2 so what do i have fe plus 2 oxidation state write that configuration for iron it is 3d6 4s2 for plus 2 this becomes 0 now how many d you have 6 electrons how many unpaired electrons 4 ok now this has to accommodate water molecule to form bond but we very well know water is a neutral ligand and it is not going to pair up no change nothing because if it is a strong field ligand it is going to pair up but this is neutral it will not pair up so we are going to go to the next state 3d 4s 4p okay how many do i need i need uh, 6 isn't it so 1 2 uh, 2 3 4 5 6 i need d also d so now fill 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What type of hybridization did I get? I have got hybridization of sp3d2. Total how many? 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. So this is also an octahedral complex. So first one, what did I get? Well, let us take out this water. First one, I got octahedral complex D2SP3. The second one also, I got a, a shape was octahedral complex with outer uh, complexing that is SP3D2. So let us do the next one. Third one. Third is K2MnCl4. You have to be very careful in copying the uh, charges. If you copy the charges wrong, your answer whole thing will be wrong. Now, <coughs> manganese is given X. Okay. Mm. Plus 4 into minus 1 is equal to minus 2. X. I have got 2. Now, what is the valency or the charge? It is Mn plus 2. Write the configuration. 3D5, 4S2. Take out 2 electrons from here. This becomes 3D5. How many should it accommodate? It has to accommodate 4 Cl's. So, 3D, 4S, 4p one chlorine here one more chlorine here one more chlorine one more chlorine what is the hybridization these two will hybridize so hybridization is sp3 3 plus 1 4 the shape of the molecule is tetrahedral so what did i get now for uh, uh, the last complex i have got sp3 hybridization and the shape is tetrahedral done so this is how you're going to do for the first one second one third one. first step calculating oxidation number second one uh, writing the filling the electrons third one based on the charge removing the number of electrons fourth one writing the type of hybridization no you have to see whether it is strong field ligand weak field or neutral ligand and finally you are going to write the shape of the molecule.